Welcome back to our third part of lesson number seven, uh, conditional formatting. Uh, let's continue with the uh, examples. Okay, the third example is actually comparing values. So we can use uh, uh, we can use conditional formatting to track inventory levels. So what's the ne necessity of this? So for example, you have an inventory table like this. You have unit stacks and order level. So this is the actual stacks. That means you're counting the number of items you have. If you have a shop, for example, Almarai Milk uh, or a store, and then this is the level that you want to keep in your inventory. You, you want uh, that at the end of the inventory, you always have 10 or um, when you order to another supplier. Okay, so that's why we want to be alerted if your stack is already less than uh, the order level. So that you want to order only those that are highlighted. So you can see the difference in the formula here. So let's go to Excel. So how do you do this? Again, highlight uh, the range without the heading. Go to conditional formatting, new rule, uh, and then use formula to determine which cells to format. I'm going to format it and fill again since this is just highlight record. So the highlighting is just an example. You can choose whatever formatting you want. Uh, and then equal sign in our formula. And then we want to compare is D3. Okay, again, we need to remove the dollar sign. I'm going to do that later on. Less than on your keyboard, it's near the M key. And then equal sign, less than or equal to E3. So I'm going to remove the dollar sign here and the dollar sign here. Remember, we want Excel to move from uh, the third row until the uh, last row which is the 17th row so both okay press ok and that's your answer to this example okay our fourth example is to use an icon to represent data so this is an example of another choice that you can use in conditional formatting so what is this? Let's say these are IC3 scores. We just want to mark or icon set uh, those who already pass. Okay, so you can do this uh, in conditional formatting in Excel. So what this means that, for example, in module A, IC3 650 is the passing. So this is just an example. And in the rules manager, this is what you're going to see. Okay, now there's a setup for that. Let's go for it. Excel. So here, I'm going to highlight from C3 to C7. This is what we're going to have those marking or icons. Conditional formatting, then icon sets. You can see here, you can choose different icon sets. And in our example, we just use the, uh, the, the check mark, the X mark or the wrong mark and the exclamation point. You can choose uh, just the circles, straightforward circles, is it correct? Three traffic lights unreamed or this one. Okay, so just for example sake, I'm gonna use this three symbol circle. Okay, so that's it already. So why did it circle? Uh, there, there's already a symbol because there is a default. Okay. Now, since we want uh, 650 to 50 to be the passing, and then those that have 500 and up to 650 or uh, to 649, for example, they are on the exclamation port or warning. And those with have uh, below 500 will be X or uh, in danger okay or critical so i'm going to manage the rules why because i want to change the setup of this okay so go and double click here so that you will have the rules format all cells based on their values no 
you can see here icon sets like this okay you can see the check mark or the green check mark when value is greater than or equal to 67 no that's not correct you can see that these are the default what you're going to do is to change this i'm going to change the type to number because we want 650 to be the setup here 650 is the passing so that we will have the green check mark as the passing go here and that will be applied already okay so you can see by default he changed this also so exclamation uh, mark when less than 650 and greater than or equal to we said earlier that from 500 to less than 650 that's the one I'm going to use for the yellow or the uh, crit not critical but warning level so we're going to change this to number and then we're going to change the number to 500 so you can see when less than 650 and greater than or equal to 500 okay you can see that go here or just press enter later on or here change it you can see that here the cross red mark is less than 500 so that's our fourth example press ok and then press ok and then now this is adjusted for the last example of our lesson number seven uh, it's not in your PowerPoint, but I'm just going to show you here, sample 5, okay? So what I'm going to do is to highlight the J column from J2 until J32, okay? So what are we going to do here? Uh, I'm going to do a formatting, but based on a color scale. What is color, color scale? And I click here, and then color scales. So I'm going to choose anyone here but i'm going to choose more rules so with my more rules the first one is two color scale okay uh you can choose as you can see here minimum lowest value maximum highest value the color is orange the color is yellow for the maximum press ok preview okay what's the meaning of this okay the maximum value will have the yellow the most yellow and the lowest value is the most orange okay so to color scale you can see here uh, the more orange it is the more nearest the color that you set up for the minimum okay that means you are approaching minimum the more it is yellowish okay the more it is higher or maximum value like 881 864 and so on okay that's the two color scale only Okay, I'm going to share to you the three color scale. So manage rules. Let me double click here. I'm going to click three color scale. So as you can see here, there is lowest value, uh, maximum value, and there's a midpoint wherein this is the 50%. The 50% will be color yellow. If you want, you can change this. Let's say I'm going to put uh, purple. Okay, the more purple it is, the more it is at the middle percent of the one you you have squad of the scores you have here the more red it is let's see if this is red enough i will change this to more red okay and then this is i'm going to change it to more green okay i'm going to press okay and this is how it look should look like okay what did i tell you if it is more red that means it is the lowest it is more green then that means it's the highest more purple it's more on the middle okay like 543 or 400 i'm not i'm not sure okay but that's what three color scale is okay so this is the end of our video so lesson number seven conditional formatting I hope you learned a lot from our lecture. Please uh, study hard with our online classes, lessons from the videos that I'm uploading. So see you, uh, have a nice day, ciao.